Good day guys, Spring here. Um, yesterday we modeled uh, a roof uh, structure. Okay, so today we're going to uh, model another one. So this one, uh, you can see that it can uh, have different thickness. Okay, so let's let's do it. So I'm going to close all these. Oops, yeah, that's fine. Let's close everything here. Okay, so um, first, uh, let's model a the shape of that uh, roof. Okay, so um, let's model a map. This time, let's model a mass. So you can also do a uh, model in place mass. Okay, so. Now let's go to so floor plan. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, to reference plan RP, and I'm going to create three different uh, uh, profile on these. So one, two, and three. Okay. So go to the on the left left uh, elevation view, so which is um, west. Okay. Let's go to west. Or oh, actually. Let's go back to floor plan. Let me just uh, give it a name. So let's call this left L. Let's call this uh, R. Okay. And then this will be the center left right. Okay. So now go to west. So first uh, create uh, some reference line. So I'm going to just use rectang rectangle shape. And then set our plan. So and let's pick the reference plan L. Okay. So the first shape, something maybe like this. Okay. And then let's create another one. So this time set our plan and pick the center left right. And the middle middle uh, uh, profile, maybe maybe like this. Okay. And then. Set word plan, pick the R reference plan, and OK. So this time, uh, maybe let's go up a little bit. Okay, so now if, if we go to 3D view, you will see these are the three uh, reference, uh, sorry, a profile we created on three different uh, reference plans. Now, if we select all of them and create form, so this is a roof shape. Okay. And also you can you can still you can try to select use, use your tab key to select the reference line and you can adjust the shape if you want to. Okay. Oops. So yeah, um, let me just um, adjust maybe oops tab select reference. Oh, maybe do something like this. Okay, so now this is the roof shape. And then uh, tab select the top face and also the the bottom face, and then click on divide divide surface. So now we have all these grids, and maybe um, let me just change this to five. To reduce the number because uh, because my uh, computer is quite slow, so I just need to uh, use less um, num number of the grids. So okay, so now these are the grids, and then let's uh, we need to so this time we need to um, model an adaptive family so last time we used we used uh, um let me think so this one i think we used pattern based family for this roof shape but this time we are going to use adaptive family but the shape of um it will be very similar to that so let's just quickly do it so new family adaptive family okay so first let's quickly create one two three four uh, reference oh sorry points and make them adaptive okay and then go to start uh, 
elevation mu cc up so now we have one two three four five six seven eight eight adaptive points okay so now if we go back look at this one so um maybe uh hang on let me just open that uh so this is the one from yesterday so you can download this family if you want to so this is so if you tab select this is the pattern based family so we are going to model a, a very similar one just like this one okay so it will be one two three four five six seven eight so go back to the adaptive point oh, sorry adaptive family so now we can um, we can uh, let me think sorry um, yeah we need to find a point here so okay now let's just create this reference line okay so select all uh, two ref uh, adaptive points and then create a reference line and Oops, so this one, this one, and then make the uh, reference line. And also, let's just connect all the those uh, upper points with some reference li line as well. Okay, so, and now we need to place a midpoint. So, point draw on face and pick the mid, midpoint here midpoint here and then midpoint here and the midpoint here so now select oops sorry select these two points create a spline reference line these two spline and reference line and then place a point draw on face and place it on this reference line and then select this point and use um, use this one host point by intersection and pick this reference line so now this point will be the the one so in this one in this family it will be the one on the top so this this point okay so now we can select this point and uh, and connect them with the points one two 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 four okay so and i think that's it so now um, i'm going to use the same same um adaptive family so one of the frame so you can download this and use tab to select this one individual frame and edit family oops ah oh, sorry looks like we have some issue here because and i created this family as family four and then the frame here in this family is family four as well so when i try to open this it will open this instead so um what i'm going to do is um here what's this family family five Gonna go back here so I'll change this uh, the family in in this uh, file so let's go to generic model family 4 yeah, I'm going to rename it I'll call it family 6 okay and also I'll change the type um, oops uh, okay that's okay it looks like it's um, in the, uh, even just I just change um, the name of the family it will regenerate uh, all the frames so it will take a few seconds I think okay let's just wait all good so now let's uh, change the type name hopefully it won't regenerate everything yeah, good, good so now right click on this family and edit so this time this uh, it will, it will open this family and now we can load this into family um, five. Okay, so load this into family five, and then we can place it. So it's 
very easy to place. Just type SE and SE tab. SE, SE tab, 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 SE. Uh, hell, oh, I need one here. SE tab, SE, SE tab. Okay, so one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and we need the top, top, so it will be a cross. So one, tab, SE, SE tab, SE, SE tab. So now that's it. Okay, so it looks like a very thin frame, but uh, it depends on um, the size because currently we have all these points as and the distance is quite big probably um, let's just load this into the here okay so let's load this into family 4 so load family 5 into family 4 okay so now I'm going to uh, because we need some we need nodes to place adaptive family so select select the divided surface so go here check the nodes okay so same the other one check the nodes okay so now we can place that uh, adaptive family so we just try to find so let's place it here so one two three four one two, or five six seven eight okay so one two three four five six seven and eight so um, that's it so that's one of them but if I click repeat it won't work um, I'll show you yeah it will take a a little bit time yep. so this is what we get it's very uh, dramatic <laughs> now it's wrong okay so let's control Z go back so um, it's okay so we just need to tell try to tell rabbit what we want to do okay so we have this one here so I'll just hh it so it's easier for me to pick the nodes again so create let's create another one so one two three four five six and seven and eight so this is another one okay so now if I type hr so and then select these two and then click on repeat and Revit will create these okay so on this direction so and then we just need to so and then just let me just change them again sorry uh select them oh hang on hr let me try to select okay select this one sa oh i can't do it let me do it this way hh Oh, what's going on? <laughs> Ctrl Z. Just want to hide it. H H, but it looks like oh hell, yeah, because I looks like I just hide a repeater. See a repeater. So let me just tab 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 again. So this time I think I pick one of them. So our S A H H R oh, still. Anyway, let, let's just leave it. Okay, so leave it. So maybe I'll hedge, hedge this individual one. Okay, so at least uh, I won't accidentally pick, place the family onto this frame. Okay, so I think that's, that's enough in this one. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to create another one and two. Okay, so another two. So one two three four and five six seven eight okay so this is another one 
and oh H H and once again another one here so one two um three four five six seven eight okay so now H R select these two and repeat okay so now we can uh, Actually, um, let's just make uh, make these. Let's check the size of this frame. Okay, so if I tab select one of these uh, family, so it's come to fifty. Looks very thin compared to the size. Let's make it two hundred. Okay, so just wait. So yeah, that's better compared to the re relative to the size of this roof shape. Okay, so okay, so now what we need to do is select this repeater and remove repeater, and also this one and then remove repeater. Then do it this way. So select these two, repeat. Or oh, actually, hell. I want to have a try because sometimes it will work if I select one, two, three, four. Okay, so I'll try this one. So I repeat and see if um, yeah, I'm not sure if it will work or not, but yeah, just have a try. Okay, looks like it um, not it won't place this adaptive family in the whole uh, in all the the nodes so it's very it's just the same as this just select, select these two so that's okay we can just um, use this let's just finish this okay so repeat yeah it's it's very it's not very uh easy to you know you can just place one and repeat or cover the whole thing but at least we can just create two and create uh, and then place it along one direction and then once you have two row you can just um, repeat on the other direction okay so that's that's it so if I um, let me try to hide this now this is some structure so uh, follow the roof so follow this mass and also uh, you can have different thickness different thickness you can have you know different shape so you can create um, a curved shape or you can have um, yeah I think it's very very uh, freedom so you can just try to create some uh, organic shape and then you can place this structure in it okay so that's it um, if you have any question please let me know I'll upload this family as well okay so together with so you can find this one so this is from yesterday and I'll upload this uh, for you to have a play okay so Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.